what, what I really think is cool about the way Maslow was thinking was um, there were a lot of people in, you know, who were in the spiritual world, there were a lot of hippies in the 60s, you know, like Woodstock. They, you have to put places within the context of that time period where uh, there was a human potential movement like Esalen Institute and uh, and a lot of people were just, uh, you know, just like writing off the hippies is like, oh, that's hippy dippy stuff is within the field of psychology. The field of psychology was focused very much on Freudian ideas um, that all of our aggressive and destructive impulses are, are the, um, uh, you know, at, at the base of human nature are sexual and destructive impulses. And that's it. You know, that was Freud's view. And then you had behavioralism was big at that time, which was stimulus response learning. So um, we're, we're just totally influenced by the environment and there's nothing uh, cognitive or worthy of appreciation among humans. Like we just make decisions based on input output. So this was actually revolutionary for Maslow to be like, no, I actually think that uh, there's some good in humans and that it stems from something innate within humans. So both of those things were pretty big mm-hmm. notions. So th- that's what he was getting at with that kind of quote was that, you know, we don't have to uh, now we have a psychology of of spirituality. We have a psychology of the higher uh, the higher reaches of human nature that we can study scientifically, and that is really a part of our evolutionary heritage. It's really uh, just as real as our sexual and destructive impulses and aggressive impulses. Just as real is our altruistic impulses. Just as real is our need for self actualization. So for him to come along and say that was quite revolutionary in the field of psychology.